Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is a technician's corner. Today we're working on a Latitude 5289 and this one is going to be for the touchpad buttons. As you can see here, I'm taking the screws out of the back and uh, I'm not actually taking them out, I'm just unscrewing them because they are captive. Don't try and force them out. Uh, they are supposed to stay there. Uh, if they come out Okay, fine. Uh, go ahead and make sure you don't lose them. But otherwise, they are made captive like that so that they don't get lost. Uh, now, when you go ahead and take these apart, you do want to pry up. Uh, generally, you can get it loose right there around the hinges and at the top. And uh, that will then pry off, as you can see there. Now, the dark area here, the large black section, is the battery, of course. There are a handful of screws around the outside of that. Uh, as you can see, those are not captive. I am taking and putting them into a little container. Uh, that is generally a good idea. Um, so uh, make sure you do that so you don't lose them and you can keep track of them. Uh, now, the other thing that I want to mention here is when you are taking this out. When you take it out, there is the little connection plug there. The connection plug, uh, you need to support it as you're pulling it out. Uh, that's basically why I was squeezing like I did there, uh, because you can pull the wires out of the little connector. Now there you can see me taking off one of the flat ribbon cables. I flipped up the little catch lever that holds the ribbon cable down. Uh, there's a few more around there as well as there are a few pieces of uh, tape that uh, go over top of the uh, the button assembly uh, you can see that's one i'm working on right there that one is a it's grounding tape essentially is what it is and uh, we want to just pry that up and out of the way then there's a couple of screws that hold the touchpad buttons themselves in uh, and it's just one on either side fairly simple this is actually very similar on many of the latitude series notebooks uh, depending on the model there's slight variations of course but uh, this is fairly universal for these as long as you have the kind of separate touchpad buttons and touchpad uh, touchpad being part of the palm rest uh, now there is the of course the tape that was there at the bottom and you probably saw I flipped a little lever for that little flat ribbon cable that's there by my right thumb and uh, I was just checking it out there. Uh, you could see that uh, the left mouse button or the left touchpad button had no spring to it. It was just collapsed. It didn't want to return uh, like it's supposed to. Now when you put this in there, make sure of course you get all the wires out of the way. You don't want to jam anything underneath it. And uh, of course, you know, there's the, the tape that's in the middle. That tape that's in the middle, of course, is also uh, grounding tape as well as that other piece of tape that uh, you'll be putting down here in a minute. Now when you put these back in, these flat ribbon cables, you want to make sure that uh, you get them seated in properly. There are a couple of little notches. Those will, it will slide in and then it will kind of hook into the, um, into the catch. Once you do that, you can then take and flip the catch lever down and it will hold it securely. When you flip the catch lever down, you'll feel it kind of snap into place. Uh, you do want to be careful with this because those do pop off. Uh, I have had it happen before, even with as many times as I've done this. Uh, it still does it periodically, uh, depending on the age of the machine, how it was taken care of, things like that. Um, it can cause it to wear down, the older it is especially, uh, because you know the, it deteriorates over time. Uh, there we just did it again with that little ribbon cable, which I believe is for maybe some of the LCDs on the front bottom of the uh, of the uh, palm rest there, uh, maybe the power button or something like that. And then of course the two screws are going back in to hold the actual touchpad buttons back into place.
Now, of course, you want to do a quick once over before you put that battery back in. That's kind of what I just did. Made sure everything was seated down properly. That way the battery sits down properly and it doesn't uh, mess anything up when you try to screw it down, uh, whether it be the battery or any of the connections. And of course, with the battery connection, when you put it back in, you do want to support it. A great thing to use is something called a spudger, which is basically sort of like a flat or a flat screwdriver, um, but it is plastic, essentially, or, uh, or heavy Teflon. And then it has kind of a point at the other end, as you could see was in my hand there. And uh, then you just make sure to put all those screws back into the uh, battery. And... Uh, after that, I mean, it's going to be just the finish reversing what we just did. Uh, you're going to have the, of course, back panel that we're going to be putting on as well. And uh, you put it on the exact opposite way that we took it off. Uh, put the bottom on first, or the section that is away from the hinges, and then rock it down to the, uh, to the hinge section so that it snaps into place properly. Now that all the screws and everything have been put back in, we're going to go ahead and test out the uh, buttons. And we're just going to do that in the BIOS uh, because that's good enough. We just need to uh, make sure that those buttons are responding properly. Uh, again, it is the left uh, touchpad button that we really had the problem with. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to kind of click down through it. Uh, as you can see, I'm moving the cursor around in the screen you can see some of the words flashing up there um, and some pictures and stuff and I'm using the touchpad buttons to flip through all those so now I've confirmed that that's done the next thing I'm going to do is as you can see I'm pressing F12 uh, that brings up the uh, the startup menu basically and there's going to be a list of things in there is going to be the diagnostics we'll go ahead and run that and uh, once that's finished, and as long as nothing else has come up, it doesn't give you any errors or anything like that, then we're going to be finished. We're going to be all done, and the computer or the laptop is fixed. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This is another episode from A Technician's Corner. Again, my name's Cougar, and this is the world of me. Uh, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.